now. So, so I know that your all's reg A plus fund is fairly new. Am I mm-hmm. mistaken in that? No, we, it, it is new. That is correct. It's just a little over a couple of years old. And, you know, to kind of back up the time clock, when mm-hmm. I came on board here 10 years ago, I had previously worked for another private money lender and dealt with investor relations, mainly selling paper, selling trust deeds. Um, and so when I came on board, that was really the business model, right? We had all these borrowers and real estate investors that had great deals. They needed funding. I knew a lot of investors that like to passively invest in paper or trust deeds or notes. And Mm -hmm. so we would partner them, right? We would get the deal through underwriting. I'd start dialing for dollars is what I called it, Um, which you've probably done. And it's clunky. And, you know, on one side of it, you got a broker and a borrower breathing down your neck because they're ready to close. And then on the other side of it, you're trying to herd cats and get this investor that's, you know, verbally committed to it. And maybe they're using IRA funds and it takes time to move it around. So we started exploring the option to open and fund. And at the time, the only type of fund you could open was a 506 uh, C fund, which was for accredited investors only. Mm -hmm. And we have a fund that does that. And it's a great fund, but we always, as a team felt like we had, we were doing a disservice to everybody. Like we didn't feel it was right for only high net worth, wealthy people to be able to have that opportunity to invest and get great yields. And so when securities laws changed, you know, four or five, four years back and the regulation A opportunity, you know, um, came came available, we decided to jump all over it. And, and I will tell you, our regulation A fund is a lot more work to manage than our accredited investor fund. But we feel a sense of satisfaction and um, feel like we're providing a really good opportunity to all these investors out there that aren't necessarily accredited. Now, not to say that I don't have a, I have accredited investors into that fund. Some high net worth individuals don't want to prove that they're accredited and maybe they don't have the minimum. You know, so there's all these different reasons. So um, three years ago, we started going through the process and it's a pretty lengthy process. It takes about a year and, and it's very expensive to open up a Regulation A fund. And so we we jumped in with both feet and um, opened up what we call the Circle of Wealth Fund 3. Okay. Yeah.